Here on Mark Rogers TV, we've knocked out uh, over 30 National Signing Day reports, but we really can't do the landscape justice if we don't talk about Tennessee because the job that Butch Jones has done over the past three recruiting classes has been little short of amazing. We bring in Mike Laval of Last Word on Sports to break down the 2015 class. Mike, we always appreciate the time and the insight into this. Let's start with the, the depth that Butch Jones was able to deliver with this class. 30 commits. Can you give us some insight into how these players are going to be distributed and, and how he was able to bring in 30 guys uh, last Wednesday? Sure, Mark. Thanks for having me. Yeah, the uh, Tennessee uh, fans are very excited about last Wednesday's National Signing Day. Uh, like you said, Butch Jones brought in 30 recruits. Three of those, uh, of course, are unofficial. They'll be blue shirts, uh, so they won't be officially introduced until the summer. Uh, that includes Vincent Perry out of Nashville, uh, Jock West Bruce out of Knoxville, and then the latest uh, pickup, uh, a guy named Joe Young out of uh, North Carolina, who was previously committed to UNC Charlotte and just this past week announced that he would be blue shirting and uh, playing at Tennessee. That helps uh, the one real weakness that Tennessee had after coming out of Wednesday, which was a running back. Uh, Jones was able to really uh, spread the wealth around as far as the talent goes. He addressed almost every concern Tennessee had, particularly in the offensive line with the last-minute commitment and signing of Drew Richmond out of Memphis, pulled him away uh, from Ole Miss, and then Corte Sapp, uh, the last guy before that, a week before National Signing Day, coming another Atlanta uh, player coming out of Atlanta that's going to go play Tennessee. He's really rounding out the depth at linebacker. So Jones was able to get, uh, you know, for the past two years, he's got right to that 28 uh, limit marker for the year and has used uh, some of the attr natural attrition from the program uh, as, as leeway to, to kind of count back some of those scholarships to the previous year, and he's used blue shirting to count those forward to the next year. And he's done that to build depth, and he's done a very good job of building depth across the program at almost every position. Uh, the only two positions right now that we're kind of uh, low on depth on are running back and quarterback uh, with Nathan Peterman's transfer to Pittsburgh. Uh, two weeks ago. We have a lot of talent coming in at quarterback, but not a lot of experience with Worley graduating and Peterman transferring. Going back, Mike, seven to eight years, something in that range, going to the end of the Phil Fulmer, Fulmer uh, tenure there at Tennessee, Lane Kiffin, he had a nice recruiting class, but his departure broke up some of that, uh, some of that gain. Derek Dooley, there's been a precipitous drop-off in talent over a period of time there at Tennessee, and obviously it's been resulted uh, in, in losses on the field. Butch Jones has come in. It, it takes time. One recruiting class does not get it done. Uh, he's, he seemed to, from an outsider perspective, really focus for some reason, maybe it was because of the connections he made, or maybe it was because of the sheer talent of these two positions, but he brought in some exceptional talent at uh, defensive back and wide receivers, first class or two. Uh, he's now building depth, as we addressed uh, right there. Also meeting a number of positional needs because, again, to compete in the SEC, you need depth, and you also need to not have too many weaknesses out there. So can you talk about the positional needs that were met in this 2015 class? They really addressed the offensive line first and foremost. Uh, they got Jack Jones, um, Benzel Boulware, and Drew Richmond, uh, and they got a couple more offensive line, two more offensive, li guy, uh, offensive line guys for depth. But everybody knows uh, watching Tennessee last year, that uh, the offensive line was, was really the, the weak point in the team. Of course, uh, you mentioned in our previous broadcast that Tennessee was the only team in the nation that, uh, in 2014 that did not have a returning defensive or offensive line starter. The 2014 class of defensive line uh, lay, led by Derek Barnett uh, did really well last year. So uh, they really focused on the offensive line this year, and they got three talented guys who can go in. Uh, last year, freshman All-American Jay Sean Robertson on the offensive line. So they look like they're going to have uh, – they're still going to be young on the offensive line, but they look like they're going to have a little bit more size and a little bit more talent, uh, particularly when it comes to quickness of feet and strength uh, in the hands. So that's really where uh, they focused on uh, the, the talent for this recruiting class. I encourage people to check out that last video that uh, you allude to. We really talk about some broad topics concerning Tennessee recruiting, not just the 2015 class, but overall what Butch Jones has been able to tackle and take on and succeed, and the SEC in general, and as it affects uh, the entire landscape of college football recruiting. Very good insight from you. So that brings me to the next topic, which is 
the Tennessee high school recruiting. That's another thing that you tackled in regards to the improvement of high school football play at certain spots within the state of Tennessee. Your thoughts about what Butch Jones was able to do here in building a bit of a fence around Tennessee, but also knowing that he has to go outside of that um, the, those borders to bring in some of the top talent. Yeah, I, I don't think it can be understated uh, the job that Jones has done in recruiting. Uh, he's done two things. Two things you mentioned. One, he's he's winning back the state of Tennessee. Nashville and the Middle Tennessee area is one of the fastest growing demographic areas in the nation. A couple really good high school programs. It's getting better in Nashville. Uh, clearly not Texas, Georgia, California, Florida style, but uh, there's some really good high school recruits in Nashville. He, he, Butch Jones got three of the top four recruits out of Tennessee and, and, and several more in the top uh, ten from the state. Um, Kyle Phillips out of Nashville and Jack Jones uh, out of Murfreesboro, um, <clears throat> the two biggest gets out of Tennessee, and then Drew Richmond out of Memphis. The, uh, Tennessee has always recruited well in Middle, Middle Tennessee because the program has a real large base of support in Middle Tennessee. The Drew Richmond uh, commitment was huge in Memphis. Tennessee has always had to fight Ole Miss uh, uh, and to a lesser degree some of the other SEC schools, Arkansas, LSU, out of Memphis. So if Tennessee, if, if Bush Jones can really put a stranglehold on Memphis, uh, that will pay huge dividends for him too. Memphis is a big sports town. Uh, but what he's also done is he's also got out and spread. He's building the Tennessee network uh, in all areas of the country. Uh, he went down to Texas, got a couple players from Texas. He went out to California, got a couple players out of California. Of course, we got one uh, one recruit out of Florida. I think that's an area where I think he's going to focus on next year. The one player out of Florida was a punter. So I think you'll see Butch Jones go after two or three targets down in Florida to, to try to establish the recruiting network down there. Um, that's actually one thing that Tennessee had done well previously uh, that Butch Jones hasn't had a lot of success in is recruiting in Florida. But if you look, he's also went to Michigan. Uh, they got a big 2015 recruit out of Michigan. They have another 2016 target that's that's committed to Tennessee out of Michigan, Indiana, um, North Carolina, Virginia, another demographically growing area, uh, Northern Virginia, the D.C. area, uh, and Indiana. So, of course, Tennessee's always recruited Georgia well, seven recruits in the 2015 class. Um, so Butch Jones continues his recruiting success in Georgia. But it looks like Jones is, is – putting the wall around Tennessee again, solidifying his network in the middle Tennessee and Memphis area, and at the same time building those Tennessee networks in California, Texas, uh, Michigan, and hopefully next year Florida and continuing the success in Georgia. So what he's been able to do in a two-year span recruiting-wise really cannot be overstated. He's done a, he's done a really amazing job there. I'm just guessing here, Mike, uh, not to discount the job that uh, Butch Jones has done that you just elaborated on. I think with social media, with the Internet in, in particular, that uh, kids are a little bit more broad-minded, a little bit more world, and in this case, national-minded. They're not just stuck to their backyard. They know what's going on in other parts of the country. Uh, everybody plays on TV, and uh, certainly everybody in the SEC plays in front of a large audience on TV. Uh, again, going out to... California to take a five top defensive tackle so I'm, I'm arguing against my point that's still very impressive because USC and UCLA gathered in some fine recruits and had two top classes but they could take a kid from California there another top five positional player in a Sherion Jones another defensive tackle um, or dual threat quarterback I'm sorry uh, out of California as well so yeah he's he's going all over the place uh, four out of his five top rated recruits outside uh, the border of Tennessee. So these are just names and numbers and recruiting rankings and all this sort of stuff. Uh, based on what you've heard, the research that you've done, some of the tape you've watched, who are you excited to see uh, on the stage there in Knoxville? Well, we talked about Drew Richmond earlier with the offensive line targeting class. I, I think he'll I think he'll have a chance to start as a freshman. Uh, so really looking forward to seeing Drew Richmond there. But the gem of this class, I think what everybody's looking forward to seeing is Khalil McKenzie, um, the player out of California, the defensive tackle out of California just – you just mentioned then Shai Tuttle, the other defensive tackle out of North Carolina, uh, along with Kyle Phillips, a defensive end. All three of those defensive line prospects link those guys up with Derek Barnett, a freshman, another freshman All-American from last year on that defensive line. And I think the Tennessee fan base is really excited about seeing this defensive line next year and seeing if they can win that uh, line of scrimmage 
on defense and, and really start to control the game a little bit more and have a little bit more success on the field, uh, translate that recruiting su success uh, onto the field, onto success on the field. All right, folks, if you consider yourself a smart college football fan, and hopefully you are watching this uh, video segment here, I uh, strongly advise you to check out some of the work that Mike Laval does on Last Word on Sports. He really digs in, does some nice investigative pieces, uh, researches, and really gives it um, a lot of time and effort in analyzing, in this case, Tennessee recruiting and some other aspects of college football. Mike, we appreciate the time. Hopefully we can have you back sometime soon, maybe uh, prep uh, some spring football there in Tennessee. Great. Thanks, Mark. Tennessee is trying to get 100000 for their spring game, so uh, I'll look forward to talking to you about that.